Hey guys, welcome back to Resident Angel 3 Born. It's been a while. Okay, here we go. Stop. Zuri hits it sharply and I immediately stop moving. We're almost to the bridge now, just outside the lounge. I glance around the corner and see every see a very relaxed Carly gathering up some of the remaining bottled beverages that take to the bridge. She can't hold on to all of them. She's going to be there for a while. This is the only way to the bridge. We're going to have to get past her without ra her raising an alarm. What do you want me to do? We're going to have to take her out quickly and quietly. Do we have to? Carly was always really nice to me. She's so adorable. I don't want to kill her either. Can you think of a way to just get her out of the way for a while? Hmm. Got it. Stand back. In a blink of an eye, sorry, it's busy towards the unsuspecting Kylie. My request that she remains silent it seems to have gone to the wayside, and her boots might as well be ringing gongs. Gotcha. Huh? What? With a swift motion, sorry, grabs the frozen hobbin by the scruff of her collar and punts her straight into a lounge. As soon as a flare link, Carly clears the door. Zuri finishes up with a spin, especially her tail against the door controls. <laughs> I've always wanted to boot a hobbin. What did I say about stealth? Meh, I thought being quick would be easier. Let's get to the bridge before Rizuna or the doctor comes to investigate. With the utmost delicacy, we slowly creep into the bridge. Nobody was paying any attention to the door except Commander Rasuna laying next to to the door. A pool of blood surrounds her body, a clean bullet hole having torn through her face. Her stomach feels queasy and I turn away. I knew soul wouldn't surrender, but seeing her dead, Commander, well, 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 she never liked me anyway. What happened? I'm not going to ask you again. Hand over the command of the console. Come on, we need to get closer. St Hand over the code now. Do you want to end up the same way as the Commander? As a shipmaster, you must understand that I am unable to surrender the ship to a mutiny. Do you want to die? Is that it? You kill me, you can't change course or regain control over the security systems. You're not stupid enough to try, mongrel. Do you know what awaits at our destination? Give me the ship and the crystal. If you come with me, you might spend more of your life outside a jail cell. I've done nothing wrong. You're a murderer. Self-defense, just like when I kill you. The only person who's going to die is you. Should you not surrender? Then we are at an impasse. You arrogant racist prick. It's alright. We need to do something. You're right. As mean as he is to me. I don't want Sul to die. Besides, he's your friend. I don't want to see you cry. Thanks, Harry. Fine. You know what to talk? How about I give you some proper motivation? Motivation. Stan pulls the gun away from Sul and levels it straight towards my hiding spot. Crap. How about I kill your little crush? Maybe you'll be more receptive then. Move. <clears throat> my body feels like it was hit by a train. Zuri grabs me and dies for the cover of the navigator console. I can hear the telling scene of a near miss and the shots being fired at us, followed by a cry of pain from Zuri. Hatred and anger rip through my heart with more ferocity than any bullet. I hear a meaty thud, followed by a clank of metal hit metal hitting metal. I guess I let my face cover for a second and see soul on top of stand. Fist swinging. Not only sort of Zuri is in. I know what I'm going to have to leap into. Act I'm not going to have to leap into action. The pistol is more. It's mere feet from me, and in my hands, a second later, freeze. A pair of fighters stop struggling, so pulling away from my fearful stam. Zuri, are you all right? Yeah, he just grazed my tail. The doctor is a bad shot. Of course I am. I'm not a monster. I'm not a murderer like our executive officer. I warned her that if she attempted to take my sh the ship by force, I would be forced to defend myself. All we ever try to do, Hadley, is help protect everyone. Don't you see where this madness is taking you? A warrior of Kadisha is dead because of you. I'm the one who has the signals of blood on my hands. Protecting the crystal, protecting your little girlfriend. Watch out, Natalie. Carly is still out there. Already taking care of it. Cold and caring monsters. We just threw her in the lounge and broke the controls. Was it you? Was it you broke my data pad, destroyed my research material, and all of those hours I put into Vicant Tales? What's that? An awesome role playing game. There's more than just a puzzle games. You care more about your games than the people of the universe. I love the guy perfectly between his eyes. It was I. You've been working with the Red Waltons, haven't you? They offered me a very lucrative deal to thwart your operations. How much money is it worth to sell out your nation, you horned devil? Enough that we could live as kings and queens on our own planet. 
It wouldn't have to be perfect. You could trade that crystal away for more money than you've ever dreamed of. We are warriors. We don't compromise our honor to protect the innocent for personal gain. We are professionals. We do our duty. It's something you've never quite understood. <laughs> you think this will end here? Do you think I made it this far without help? If I go down, you're all going down with me. Heh. <laughs> Now you're just proving how stupid you are. What do you mean? Do you think after you tried to kill us several times that we wouldn't let you walk away after you nearly killed Faye? Nearly killed? Oh no, your precious wolf isn't going to survive that month. Her eternal organs are already tearing themselves apart. Oh? Hey, she's good as dead. You tried to kill Natalie. I'll never forgive you. Ah, oh, the useless one talks. The leech of the group. Don't listen to him, sorry. All you can ever do is survive under the protection of your betters. Why don't you take that weapon away from the Major and I show you who the better one here is. Drop dead. All the crimes you committed, nobody would have been in danger if we could have had the information from the start. If I let him go, he'll probably escape just as again. I can end this smuggling his felony right here, right now. I can show you he would never pose a threat to the directorship again. So, for Faye's sake, kill the bastard. Zuri, he's going to kill you. I can't forgive that, but... I, I do it. Okay, enough of this charade. Lock me back up again. What charade? Today you pay for your crimes. I am unarmed and have surrendered. You can't do it. Ah, uh, this is a decided way. The Chinese main suspect's in alive. I know more, but I'm not talking. We'll get it from Kylie. Stop this. Stop this madness. Zuri, you know this is wrong. That you swear to protect the weak. How could I be weaker? Vision and Natalie in this. Okay, I'm shooting his ass. There's only one way to make sure you see the justice. Wait, please, I don't want to die. Neither does Captain Moon follow. Please. I hope you find redemption in the afterlife. The shot rings out, even though my accuracy was bad and trained. I don't miss from this range. The man who threatened my friends who tried to kill us, who almost succeeded, he's dead. I killed him. I killed a man in cold blood. No matter how this turns out, I will forever bear the mark of a murderer in my soul. But I did what had to be done. After we secured the bridge, I went looking for Zuri for being in such a small ship. She was able to find many ways to avoid seeing me. I don't blame her. I don't even want to look in the mirror right now. I'm afraid of what I will see. Every now and then I can hear Kylie crying in the lounge. I didn't have the heart to tell her what had happened. I don't think I would be the right person to say it. No one has suspected that Kylie genuinely cared for the slam ball traitor. The damage I've done on her heart is an irreparable. I don't know that word. <laughs> what could I tell her? Sorry, but letting him stay with the living was only inviting another potential mutiny. He might have never had to pay for his crimes. Are my crimes any less? As we dock the duster station, I don't feel like the same person. I was when we left a month ago. Is this the burden of sorrow that old timers said I'd develop? It isn't until I'm walking towards the docking port that I finally see Zuri again. Her eyes are hollow, her form drooping. She looks like she hasn't slept a week, slept a wink since I did it. Zuri, where have you been? Zuri, are you all right? Uh, aren't you excited to go ba be back? We can go to get, uh, we can go get a good meal for once. I won't be able to. Why not? If you worry about getting in trouble, then you shouldn't be afraid. If they think we were wrong, I'm the one who will be blamed. They might blame you, but I'm the one who didn't do anything. Someone needed my help. I just turned away. It was in an instance that I realized I'll never be a real warrior. That's not true. It is. I knew it was wrong. I knew I had to stand up to you. But I just stood there and said nothing. I'm a coward. We had to do justice. We couldn't let him potentially escape. Let's go get his food before I report in. That will help clear our heads. I heard the deck officer's shout hall here is really good. I can't. I'm not hungry. I'm not a deck officer anymore. I know each of the words individually, but my brain can't wrap around the whole sentence. What? Did you get promoted to vice commander or something? I resigned my commission. I'm heading back home on the first shuttle. Why? Didn't you promise that we were going to be a team? We were going to be warriors together. I told you, I'm not a warrior. Every time I had to rise to the kitchen, I failed. Your lab got broken into, Faye got hurt, the government's getting the crystal, and I let you murder Dr. Nelson. Every time I tried to be a warrior, I failed. All I could do was sit in my room and play my stupid, stupid flute. I told you Akira will be ashamed of me, and I'm ashamed of myself. Please don't go. I just wanted to say goodbye before I left. I knew I wasn't the best role model, but maybe you can be a real warrior someday. Goodbye. Goodbye, Zuri. I think I think I want to go back to that wa backwater planet. I don't want to face what I've done. I don't want to face a commission who will make me relive every moment of this. I destroyed so many lives. That crystal will destroy even more. Um, I'm going to go home as well, back to the smelly swamp, back to the back connections. I don't want to destroy more lives. I've done my part. I've avenged fate. I've done my job. I was a good side of it. made a difference just like I wanted. I just wish it would have been a good one. Um, 
Duty. What does that even mean anymore? The end. Ending three. Um, okay, guys. Um, I'm gonna go and replay this real quick. Um, and see if what if I can get another ending than that. Okay, guys, for ending two, um, we got like it's pretty short, so I'm just gonna skip here. Please tell me a little bit more about the ship. If we don't have any defensive weaponry, what do we have any security forces? If there's anything special about the ship I should know about, talk with Zuri. Tell Zuri she's cute. Tell him you could. Ugh, okay. You're my partner. There has to be something we can do. Talk to Zuri. Okay, guys, these are all the endings I, um, picked to, um, get ending to. We smashed the crystal, and it's skipping through everything. That's how you get ending to. Um, so yeah, let me try and, um, yeah, that was ending two. Um, I wish I could have gotten more of what that said. Um, so yeah, guys, it's been Rising Angels Reborn. I wanted to go back and get a different ending. Maybe Zuri didn't, um, get, didn't quit, but, uh, whatever. This was fun, so guys, thanks for watching. I will have more visual novels planned in the future.